Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to actually break down this bed because it's so busted. Makai looks horrible, right? I'm going to break down this bed and I actually bought a brand new day bed and I'm going to go ahead and install it. This proves that girls can install things too. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see it, go ahead and stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you have to do is basically clear off this bed. Now, um, yeah, <laughs> this bed has actually been in my mom's house for about 10 years, maybe a little over 10 years now. It used to be my old bed in high school, but now, um, yeah, this definitely needs to be thrown away. <laughs> so, uh, what I'm doing is I'm just basically moving all of the mattresses out the way and kind of just getting all the clutter and stuff out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and kick off on how to actually uh, break down this bed properly. So when putting together any type of furniture, take a look at these two tools here. You need them, study them, learn them, know them, everything. These tools are what you need to put together or tear down any type of old type of furniture. These are the ones that you actually, uh, the type of furniture that you put together actually. So the first tool was like an Allen wrench and the other one was just a regular wrench wrench um but yeah so i didn't have those two tools from my previous like from this old bed so what i did is i actually opened up my brand new day bed and i pulled that tool out to use it the main thing i did not want to do is lose it because if i lost that i was just sol like there is no way that i'm gonna go ahead and put this together the, it's kind of crazy how like to put together some of these beds the only thing that they require you to use is the tool that they provide which is a little Allen wrench tool so pretty weird anyway I already cleaned up um, or I tore down the entire bed and now I'm just cleaning everything up out of the way and just sweeping dusting all that good stuff is when I got inspiration to be like you know what I have so much room in this room I need to spread something out I need to do something so I went and I, I got a tape measure and I actually measured the um, shoe rack and I wanted to place it somewhere else in the room just to make sure that it fit correctly and now I'm just sliding out my furniture and I'm just on this whole rearrange the room I don't know like field trip <laughs> I wanted to completely change this entire room so I don't know if I'm the only one who actually does this, but what I do is I take a rag, I wet it, uh, damp it up, bring it out a little bit. This is a really clean rag. And I put a little bit of cleaner on the floor, then I step on the rag and I kind of like wipe my feet along with the floor on the rag and that makes them squat. So I pretty much, instead of using a mop that actually carries bacteria and everything else, I just use a really old rag and wipe my floors down. I don't know if anybody else uses this, but this seems to be like the best way to clean my floors in my house. Um, but yeah, like, let me know what you guys think about that. I may be weird, but <laughs> to me, that's like the so easy and you kind of get like a little leg workout thing going on. So now what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and I'm taking all of the parts that I need for my day bed, bringing them into the room, making sure I have all the parts together, making sure I have all the the right screws, the right everything. And um, I'm just basically taking all the plastic and stuff off, organizing it to how I want it to be, and then um, just kick off the, the whole setting up section. <laughs> Little Apollo, my dog, he was looking so lonely. So I was like, okay, let me just play with him a little bit and then I have to get back to work. But he's so cute. He's a little Yorkie. He's about three years old. He is bad. Don't let that nice little face fool you. He's bad. <laughs> so now what I'm doing is I'm looking at the instructions and I'm putting together the two side frames first. Um, that's what the instructions call for. So that's what I did. One key thing, guys, to remember is number one, make sure you have all the tools you need in order to put your little bed together. Make sure everything comes into the package. There may be times where they give you extra like screws, extra bolts, and stuff like that, which is great. 
sometimes they may be like just horrible and give you only what you require so if you do mess like miss mess up or break a screw or something like that you're basically sol which sucks um for this bed which is really really weird is the fact that on there they said that i needed a screw k labeled k right everything is labeled alphabetically so they said that i needed a screw labeled k but there is no k screws on here so one thing that messed me up the most was the fact that i needed to go back and just redo or reuse screws that i used for um different letters so i had to pretty much just make up a letter k if that made sense which is really weird so um yeah that's basically what i'm doing so another key tip guys to remember is whenever you put these beds together or any type of furniture or anything really that requires you to screw things like cinch it down do not cinch it down completely at first you want to slowly put in the screw kind of just to just until the actual screw catch the material and then go on to the other screw just like I did here so with the middle piece I kind of just screwed in that middle bar like middle section right there I screwed it in just a little bit just so that it would catch and then um, did it with everything else and once I got all three screws together then I started to cinch everything in and you know put it closer together or cinch it down tighter um, the reason why you want to do this is because for one you want to make sure that the entire bar is lined up correctly so that you're able to um, not break the bar not like deform it in any other way and it's just easier for you to make sure that everything is properly aligned because if you do start to cinch things all in one um, you know trying to get the other screws in on the other side of the bed it's gonna be such a pain and yeah it's like a whole bunch of back and forth foolishness that you don't need So the last step guys is putting these little knobs on the top and they are round metal knobs. They have like a little screw in the middle. So all you have to do is put it on top and just screw it in. You would think that this is easy but it really isn't because the screws inside weren't set properly. So I'm sitting there, you see me screwing, you see me screwing this thing for like ever. It took me so long to try and like kind of shift it and break it a little bit so that I could actually work. So guys, I am finally finished. Oh my gosh, this thing took about an hour and a half to put together. It seems so fast on camera, but I'm telling you, it takes so long. <laughs> but guys, just remember, make sure you look at the instructions, read the instructions and all that. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to go ahead and slam that subscribe button. And make sure you thumbs up the video if you guys like it. And also comment and share my content, guys. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Love ya. Oh,